this is a uh, Bronier Stomp solo. Uh, this is the live acoustic solo on um, the Led Zeppelin DVDs. Uh, I think it was in 1975 they, they did that concert. Um, so the tuning for that from high or from top to bottom is uh, D, B, G, D, G. We're just going to focus on the solo. Um, so the picking pattern is just, uh, you probably know it, but uh, D string to B string to G string to D string. That's just G major pentatonic. <clears throat> so um, from the the ninth fret of the seventh fret on the G string, and then you hit the ninth fret on the D string, and then back up to the seventh fret on the G, and then seventh fret to the fifth fret on the D string. the seventh fret on the A string there. You can use your index. I like using my pinky. I think it's easier. Or your ring finger, I meant. And then... And then we hit, have this G major uh, chord here, and he hits the B um, on the ninth fret of the, of, the, of the high E string. So remember, it's B because we're tuned down to D, right? slides up and does the same thing. So he's hitting the, the D string and, and the high E string at the same time. just a, a D major shape and then he kind of hammers off to the flat seven there on the high E string right so 12th fret to 10th, 10th fret and then he hits the B and then back up to the the flat seven sorry So that chord shape, 12th fret on the D string, 11th fret on the G string, and then you're kind of barring the 10th fret on the, the B and E string. Right? And then, and then it's kind of a... Or you could alternatively do... This way. So we're second fret and fourth fret there on the A string. And then to the D string. G string, second fret. Fourth fret of the D string. And then open G string. Second time he does it, he ends on the A, second fret of the D string, and then he kind of does like a, okay, so 7th fret of the D string, 8th fret of the B string, and then G string and high E are open. back up to the G. So 
So that same shape at the uh, 10th and 11th fret. This one is a 12th fret high E and 12th fret B string, G string open, and then a D string on the 12th fret. And then same shape between the 14th and 15th frets. Back to the 9th and 10th fret shape. So you're basically doing the chords backwards. And then you kind of have this weird little chord here. So it's the same shape as these chords. Except you're on the 2nd fret. So you go from the second fret to the third, and then you kind of do like a little hammer off thing on the on the high E string, or a pull off, excuse me. And then, and then back to our little D shape thing. All right, so sorry. He does this thing first. So he's on the uh, G major. He does a little something uh, different with it. Uh, I think he's just hitting the, the D string and the, the high E with that B held on the high E string, 10th fret. Oh no, that's what he does. Excuse me. It's so hard to do it slowly. Uh, yeah, so he hits the, uh, the notes on the 10th fret of the, of the high E and the D string. Then he hits the open G, and then he hits the uh, ninth fret of the B string. And then he goes back to this little D major shape thing. And then he goes to the... much it the rest of the song uh, is pretty self-explanatory um, so you're basically holding all the notes on the third fret uh, with the exception of the, the low D do the same thing on the fifth fret That's 5th fret of the high E, 6th fret of the B, 7th fret of the G string. That's 3rd uh, fret of the D pulling off, and then 3rd fret of the A pulling off. A little chromatic thing there. For the chorus, he hits the uh, the second fret, same shape. That's sliding up to the 12th fret, bottom three strings. He uses a slider in it. I don't. And 
and I think that's every part of uh, Brawny or Stomp live. Enjoy.